James Shramko here. Welcome back to superfastbusiness.com. I've got my mate John Lint here from 10xpro.io. Hey, John. Hey, everybody. Hi. So we've been talking about marketing and courses and so forth. You have the great platform, 10xpro.io. helps people create courses and memberships, and it's uh, great mm -hmm. for building funnels if you just want to sell a single product even. And the great thing is it's fully hosted and it's easy. Now, one of the questions that comes after building your course or your membership is then you have to go and promote the course. Now, of course, you've built something for a specific audience in mind and you've gone through all those exercises, the sort of things we teach in our course, onlinecoursesystem.com. Mm -hmm. One thing that we have to keep in mind when we are doing that traffic and promotion is we have to consider who we're actually marketing to. And I don't mean just a particular audience, I mean, what stage are they at in terms of the buying window? And I'd love you to expand a bit on this. Yeah, I mean, you know, it depends where they are in their journey. Like you said, you know, some people, they're just discovering um, your brand or they just stumble on your website for the first time. Um, they are experiencing some problems and they want a solution, but for the moment, they're just investigating possible solutions, right? Then you have other guys on the other opposite side where now they are really sick and tired. Now they are ready to go. Now they just want a solution right now. And it's almost like they have their credit cards in their hands. So obviously completely different types of people and the message that you're going to deliver and you want them to land is completely different, you know? Someone who's just trying to get some information, maybe a simple landing page with some information and asking them to uh, take the next step by joining your wait list, offering an opt-in, meaning that you are going to offer something cool in exchange for their email might be more appropriate than the other guys who are ready to buy. Well, you can actually send them the, uh, the link to the order page and they will buy. You know, many times you and I, we do that with some of our offers. Uh, when someone contacts the support team saying, hey, I really want access, there's no point for me to send them to the homepage of the website that tells them every, a little bit about the product. I Here's the link, you know, and they buy, you know. So I think it's important to discover where they are um, and have different systems in place to be able to um, solve those different situations. Right. So one technique you do is, is write down the stages that people are up to, and then you could create mm -hmm. content for that stage. For example, if we sold paint, we might have a stage of person who doesn't actually know that, that they should be painting yet. So you might create a renovator's guide, home renovation right. improvements guide, right at the top of that awareness, that very broad thing. Then you could move people to the idea that perhaps they could improve their place by painting a wall. So you might then create content like how to paint a wall, uh, for example, and then Further down the track, they're at the point where they want to renovate, they're painting the wall, now they're choosing which paint, and then you might have a comparison. You might have uh, X paint versus Y paint brand and a comparison chart and the pluses and the, the minuses leading people to a conclusion that your product solves the problem better. And people who are ready to paint today are going to be looking for that information. People who don't even know they need to paint are, are going to be starting up at that renovation guide. So that's just an example. Yeah, and this, that's the traditional reason why we have funnels in place, you know, to funnel people through the different stages of um, their journey uh, and making sure that, you know, first they just get to know us a little bit, then they get to like us, trust us, and then when they're ready, uh, then you can make an offer, right? But again, it's also important to know where they are and have um, systems in place to, that will allow you to identify that because if someone is ready to buy right now, then you you want to be able to offer them um, the link, you know, where they can buy. So, yeah. And the fastest, uh, cheapest market to address is probably the one who's buying right now. <laughs> so if we were addressing that market for your product, <laughs> yeah. we might say, uh, why 10x Pro is better than Kajabi or something along that that mm. line, because someone who right. knows those products and is interested and they're in that phase where they're about to order, they'd be very interested in that information. And once we've got that market, mm -hmm. then we can start to look for a broader market. We could have more interesting sort of general content, like who are you actually marketing to? Like the topic of this particular mm -hmm. episode, this episode may not result in an immediate sale. However, it builds a relationship, we're educating a market, mm. and once you're more confident about the various stages of when you can market to someone, 
then you're going to have much more success with your marketing, which means that you'll actually make sales, which means that you can justify investing in a tool that does pretty much everything for you. So uh, it's been always good to catch up, John. Thank you very much. John Lint there from 10xpro.io and James Schramko here from superfastbusiness.com. Be sure to subscribe for more tips like this wherever you see this video. Mm -hmm.